welcome back to another episode of Pumpkin Spooks Awesome Seed Tour. Now this was tested on the PlayStation 4 on the current up to date version as of today's date posting of this video. There is no other setting we're going to change apart from creating the seed in survival and then we reloaded it back up in creative mode just for a faster tour experience. And here we have it, you'll spawn right here, you'll see a Mesa mountain there in the distance. And of course it's always great to be spawning right next to a cozy little village. But that's not the only feature as you would have seen at the beginning of the clip, there's a lot to see. But take a look at this Mesa biome you'll start right next to, just take a look at these mountain ranges. Just look at those colours, I always love working with terracotta. You'll have some great ideas for some great builds. Love the yellows and the reds. But have a look at this. This is another grand feature. And speaking of grand, it looks like the Grand Canyon. Because look at these Mesa spikes. Yes, a very rare feature in a Mesa biome. And you'll be lucky enough to have Mesa spikes. And look, it just feels awesome walking amongst. Just have a look at its grandeur. Yes, I love those colours. And if you've never worked with terracotta blocks before, well, this would be the seed to start on and get building with terracotta blocks. Anyway, if we keep heading on in this diagonal direction, straight past these spikes, and we'll just straight down here. Now, once you see these mountain ranges, just head down here. And then just over here in this clearing, you'll see a swamp just past the next river here. There's a swamp there. So that swamp right there, if we keep heading towards this swamp, just right here in the swamp, we're going to find a village. But there's something unique about this village. I'm just waiting for it to load up. Hang on. There it is. Yep. All right. Now, can you spot it? Yep. There's something there. Yes. It's a witch's hut right next to a village. And have a look at this. There's a little witch. Yes, I know. I don't trust witches. They're up to something. They're always scheming, aren't they? But what makes this witch hut unique is just have a look underneath how the pathways have formed. Obviously, when a village pathway forms on water, you've got like a dock type looking area. It looks pretty cool, doesn't it? Anyway, if we keep following this pathway straight ahead, there's the main part of the village there up on the hill. So that's another cool feature. Now, as you can see, we've got a nice cool looking taiga biome. And if and when the Fox update comes to PlayStation 4, this is the biome you want to have. So another great biome near their starting point. And hopefully when Foxes come in, you'll be able to have a new pet. Alright, now back at the spawn point. If we turn around and face this direction, possibly the direction you'll be facing when you do spawn, We'll head straight down here. It's nice flat land so it won't take long to get here. You can even make a boat and row all the way down this way if you want and follow the river system here. But if you go all the way down here and you'll just come across this desert village just here. Now that's not the main reason we've come down in this direction because this is just a reference point. So from the de desert village just turn on a little angle like this and head on down this way until you start to see this big lake. Also you'll see a raid tower there in the distance, but we're not here for that raid tower either. Just where these two trees are, in the middle of this lake, we're going to go and dig right in a specific spot, right down here. Alright, so in this spot here we'll dig all the way down, and until we hit China, no not exactly, it's an underground stronghold. Yes, what a great place to start a base. It's not too far from the spawn point. If you run all the way down here it's nice flat terrain or row along that river system we saw. But wouldn't it make a great starting base? And have a look at this. You've even got your own library. Okay well it needs some renovations. You've got to clear out some cobwebs and you've got to rebuild the floorboards. But um, yes having a stronghold, underground stronghold as your starting base would be awesome. Just have a look at all these books for your chanting and conjuring and yes well it's a lot of reading to do too but yes you got it complete with chandelier two-story library with a whole lot of books so what an awesome starting seed with a nice stronghold nearby 
Okay, so what we'll do now is we'll just, um, there's a couple of chests in here as well, in this stronghold, which we'll have a look at in a moment. If I don't get lost in my own little library here, where am I going here? Alright, so you've got some cool looking cobwebs you're going to have to clear out, unless you want it to look all spooky like. And um, yeah, you're going to have to rebuild the floorboards as well. But um, yeah, I've always liked the way this generates these libraries all right in these strongholds um, sometimes they're not perfect as you can see here with the missing floor okay let's have a look at this chest here what sort of book have we got here ah, okay what about the other one we saw here we go there was one up here what have we got in here ah, more paper and more books just what we needed in a library okay all right let's head on out of here now yeah, there was that tower that would have appeared in the distance before we started digging and there's the Capitano here and just past that tower is another village too there's been a, quite a few villages in this around the starting area too that you'll come across alright now back to the starting point again and um, yeah look I hope you like this awesome sea tour I'll just end the clip now with just building a random basic starter house but like I said you can either start your base at this starting village or make your way over to that uh, witch's hut and raid and invade that witch's hut and take it over next to that village or you can go ahead and head on straight down to that underground stronghold and make that stronghold as your starting base so there are the cool features of this sea that just aren't too far at all Anyway, I'll leave you now with this basic build, just for any ideas it might generate for you to inspire. Hope you enjoyed watching. I have a survival series as well as these um, awesome C2s, so consider subscribing, and I hope to see you all next time. Thanks for watching.